and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, yes, today, it is Series 3. So, I don't want to go too much into all this because you guys probably know a lot of it, but Series 3, essentially, is the third segment of Madden. They break it into Series. Now, what comes along with Series that gets us excited? We get a new level of grind. We get some new solos. It's kind of like a shot right in the arm of EA, like a shot right in the arm of Madden. Like for us, it's like it's like a little Roy boost for Madden. Gets us all hyped again. Like I said, levels, solos, packs, quick sells, new objectives, and most importantly, what I'm probably most excited for, at least up there, power up passes and redux cards. As I go through this video, in this morning video at 10.30 showing you guys all this, I will be looking at the auction block at some point for redux cards because I do definitely want to see if I can find some of those for good prices. I need Donald, I need Dion, I need Randy. That's kind of the thing I'm looking for right now, and Kittle. And as a whole, I will be showing you guys some of the level ups, some of the rewards. Obviously, I'll be showing you the mission statement. I'll be showing you guys the series master, which is Devin McCourty. And that pretty much wraps up what I'll be showing you. So I'm going to get into this video in about a second, guys. Before we do get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of series three. Come join the family, boys, and give this video a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you guys do. It helps out the channel tremendously. So always smash the like button, boys. Now let's get into the rest of this video. So. First things first, I will be dropping a video later over what to do first in the series, so make sure you're on the lookout for that. And in this video, I'm just going to recap what I showed you guys yesterday after the special stream. And quite honestly, I'm impressed. I really do like the series. I don't know if people are trashing it. Um, the master's not horrible. Uh, people are saying that he doesn't have hit power, but quite honestly, guys, Steph McCourty, he never does. We can't give a guy hit power who's not a big hitter. I mean, like that, that's, that's, that's common sense. But he's crazy zone, good speed, like, he, he's good man. He has a lot of good qualities to him, especially when you blitz a lot. So I'm a big fan of this. The power pass is awesome. I get a free mod 10 player. So that makes up for the free mod 10 player I did not get. That we won't talk about anymore. But guys, get into the rest of this video. All right, guys, so everything is out. And as we can come over to series progression, we can see that. Series 3 multiplayer wins. Win one online game, 10 trophies. 30 trophies, 30 trophies, 30 trophies, 30 trophies, 60 trophies, 60 trophies, 60 trophies, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120. So, this follows the same format as every other series, just about. It's typically the same stuff. Now, I'm sure you guys the level up. For all you guys didn't see the video yesterday, um, let me turn my face cam off real quick so you guys can see the rewards. So, as you guys see right here, level 61 gets you an 87 overall fantasy pack that costs about like $1.50. It does have Patrick Mahomes in there. So, if you guys want to get a new Patrick Mahomes card, you can get him for free out of there. And it is kind of worth it because I do think you'll be getting a Thanksgiving card. But that is up to you. And in that same pack is where you get the quick sell player that will guarantee you about 150k worth of coins. And all the way on the right is the 85 overall pack that will give you a player for 14,000 coins that you can then sell for more than that. So it's definitely worth it. Watch the market for that. Over here, we get a gridiron pack, obviously. That's pretty pretty self-explanatory. We do get a Tory Holt upgrade. So your Tory Holt will be getting into a 94 overall within the series. So pretty cool stuff. Over here, we got a 35k coin quick sell. So free 35k. Level 65, we got an 89 to 90 overall power pass, which again could be used for some pretty awesome players. Now over here, we got... The 87 overall fantasy pack this gets guys like Bob Miller, JJ Watt. And on the right, another 14k pack. But it guarantees you an 85 overall, so it's guaranteed profit. The players will come down slight a bit because quite a bit because of the fact that everyone's getting them free. Gridiron pack. We get another Tory Holt token. At level 69, we get a quick sell for a 35k. And at level 70, we get the final power pass now. Enter back the face cam. So Guys, what I, that's why I recommend doing the level up grind first. But I'll be going over all that in my what to do first video, so make sure to look out for that. Probably coming to you around like 1.30-ish, 1 one is when I'll probably end up posting that. Now, like I said, trophies are important because of this reason here. I'm going to go over to the store to show you guys what you can do now with trophies. Also, the new pack odds, see if I can show you guys that. All pro packs just dropped. Let's see what the pack odds are looking like. View info. 88 plus is 3.8. Still feels kind of low to be quite honest with you uh let's see what a weekly elite fantasy pack looks like 90 over a plus here actually isn't that bad i might have to actually open one of these that's really not a bad deal considering what it says and when i recommend opening packs i mean odds are still kind of low right odds are still low i don't think they're great odds i think they're okay there's even though odds increase they, as they increase we also get better overall cards so it always feels kind of the same in my opinion but let's come over to competitive currency. 
and we go on over to these over here we see series 3 competitive master and nat series 3 competitive master this is dev mccordy the car looks pretty great now i've been in a few debates about whether he's worth it now i mean yeah i have brian dawkins and they're about the same speed he doesn't have as good a zone but he has way better hit power but dev mccordy can play man which i really do like because when I blitz, playing man's great, but then again, the free safety typically does man up on our running backs. So you really don't need the greatest man. It's very conflicting. I want him because it's a free 94 overall. And I could sell Brian Dawkins, but from what I've been told, it's not worth it. Now, over here, we have the John Madden collectible. We have a second one now. We did add it. Now, we're definitely inching closer to getting Shaker or one of those things on John Madden. Now, if you guys don't already know, Shaker or one of those sprinter camps on John Madden is huge. That means that the whole team gets plus one speed or plus excel, whatever. So, we got to be getting close to that, right? I believe last year, the time we were able to get that was right around series four or series three i don't remember the exact one but as that comes closer that is pretty pretty awesome in my opinion would i do john madden or the dev mccordy first it all depends right if you're like a more of a budget team that just needs a high overall card dev mccordy go for it first i'll help you out a lot more than the plus ones but if you're like my team where you have an established team then you might want to be going with the john madden because that will increase your overall quite it'll increase a lot of overalls increase your team's play as a whole which when you have a good team that are ready you need that but like when you're when you're building your team it won't help as much as you think now next thing we have is the challenges obviously we got the new solo challenges the journey so let's go over to journey nfl 100 part two so milestones 10 stars get a gold player pack okay 20 stars gold player pack 30 stars all pro pack tier 4 25,000 coins tier 5 gridiron pack tier 6 25,000 coins tier 7 we get journey master byron jones and i showed you guys a stat yesterday they're pretty pretty awesome he has like an 89 speed like a 90 zone 85 man 92 press 94 jumping his stats are pretty good people are trashing him but i think they're really good i'm actually even using him as like my fourth cornerback 80 training all pro player pack and a journey to completion token now at some point you're going to want all those completion tokens because those will be added to a set at some point for some like journey master which you're going to want to get so stay on the lookout for that make sure you're getting that done now next is obviously the redux cards i mean we have we obviously the series two trophies already converted as you guys can see the players are no longer enraged by the way which means they can be sold and remember when i told you guys to scoop uh peyton mannings for like 300k well right now he is coming back down to 312 but he was just 400k because it's just training value is way too cheap right a lot, a lot of these gonna get bought out i'd hold on to him i'm not selling them yet they're gonna get bought out his training value is way too cheap that's probably the cheapest training value in the game look i'll do the math for you guys right now so he goes for about 15,550. He sells for about 310K. Divided by 15,550. He has a training value of, I believe, 20. Let's do that again. 310K. Divided by 15,550. He has a training value of 19 coins per training. Guys, if you ever want a training, now would be the time to get it. Um, that's quite, quite honestly, a crazy conversion for training. I'm actually, I'm, oh, that's tough. That's the cheapest training value in the game. I'll get back to that afterwards. But going over to the auction house, I'm going to show you guys the new Redux cards. I wonder how many of them are up there. I did see Calvin already was up there. So I want to see how many are up there because I do need to pick up some. I need Dion, I need Moss, I need Donald. So I'm going to have to build the coin stack up so I can afford those. Quality 92s, 93s. I wonder how many people already pulled these. Are these, are these rare? Well, clearly Calvin's not rare because I see three of them up there now. He's 655K. Kittle's still a lot. Le'Veon's still a lot. That sucks. Well, Calvin at least is cheap. But no one really wants Calvin. I really don't. Oh, wow. Hope Kittle and them aren't going to be this expensive because that's kind of dumb because they are Redux cards. I imagine they're going to come down. I mean, Vic and all of them came down, but it just came out. People are just posting those cards up just out of nowhere just to see what they can sell them for right away. They're going to have to come down because they weren't even worked out when they were regular cards. Hopefully. Hopefully. But in my opinion, is it worth opening packs for Redux cards? I mean, if you guys have packs sitting there, go for it. I actually have a few midfield packs. I'm going to open these real quick on video, see if I can get some. Imagine I pulled something right now out of these. Probably should take the 9k. I'm a little low on coins right now. But let's see. I forget these packs take a year and a half to open. You know, in my opinion, if I could get a Redux card, I would love that. I've never pulled a limited time card. Although a Redux would almost feel like a troll, right? Because I'm pulling a limited time that's no longer a limited time. So it would feel kind of like a troll. But I wouldn't be complaining. I quite—I need Donald. I need Moss. I need Dion. I plan to use my power pass on one of the three. And then from there on, I don't really know who I'd buy if I had to buy one. Uh, I think maybe Don will be the move because I don't really... I mean, I need a wide receiver. I haven't bought a wide receiver all year. If you guys haven't realized that, I don't know if you've been following my channel enough. I literally have not bought wide receivers. I have not had a wide receiver. I've used all three wide receivers. So it's time that I pick one up. At least a decent one. Ooh, AD David Montgomery. Okay, final Hail Mary pack. 
Um, I don't imagine I'll get anything, but it was a little cool to at least get these done on the camera real quick. I've had them sitting there for a little bit. Three gold out of the Hail Mary, really not that bad. That's pretty cool card art for BJ Goodson. All right, guys, I think I wrapped everything up, right? Redux cards, journey solos, level up, trophies, series master, level rewards. I think that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. It means a lot for each and every one of you that come and show support every day. So turn that noti bell. Keep on, keep it coming, boys. I really appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys think of the new series update. Are you guys excited for it? And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. I appreciate it. All the likes you guys give. It helps out the channel tremendously. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.